All right, so it's been just over 12 hours since the Saiyan Day Majin Medita banner came out on the global side of the game. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the top grossing rankings for a bunch of different regions to find out whether uh, us global players can expect any kind of top grossing rewards, and more importantly, top grossing Dragonstones over the next couple of days. Now, real quick, before we get into it, I want to give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video, Gamersups. They've recently released their new Neko Made Waifu Shaker, which is the one you see in my hand. Here is the front, and there is the back. And the exciting thing about this is that they're going to give you a free Waifu Shaker, this one right here, if you purchase a tub of any of their supplements. So. If that sounds like something that you would be interested in, then definitely head down to the link in my description and use my discount code TIGER for 10% off your entire purchase. Once again, free Neko made waifu shaker or a tub of any of their supplements. A big shout out to Gamersups for the sponsorship. And with that said, let's uh, jump into the top grossing update. Now, let me just make myself a little bit smaller here, so I'm not covering as much of the screen. There we go. So as you can see, we are on the Sensor Tower website, as always. We're filtered by March 18th, 2022, which is today, all categories, and the iOS store. So starting with the United States, which is where most of my viewers are from, um, not doing the greatest, honestly. We're looking at number six in the overall top grossing rankings below, you know, Roblox, Tinder, TikTok, and so on and so forth. And uh, it's not to say that we can't climb a little bit over the next 12, 24 hours or so, but the US right now is looking a little bit unlikely, I would say. Now moving on to France, which is doing very well currently at number two, obviously in that eternal battle or struggle against Deezer, um, this one always seems to be the gatekeeper between us and number one overall top grossing in France, but there is definitely a pretty good chance that France does get there at some point. And then we have uh, Luxembourg, which is also pretty close behind Tinder and TikTok at number three. Once again, another region that has a lot of potential to eventually hit number one and get us some top grossing stones. And after that, we have Hong Kong, which is now officially at number one overall top grossing. So we have at least one region, at least one region globally that managed to reach the pinnacle, managed to get to number one overall top grossing. So worst case scenario, worst comes to worst, we'll get seven Dragonstones out of this Majin Medita banner, but there is a decent chance we actually get more than that and uh, we'll talk about that in a second. Okay, so from there we have Belgium, which is doing okay at number five. We have Germany also at number five. We also have Spain, number five as well. Uh, Italy is at number six. Switzerland is at number seven. What else? Uh, the Netherlands, uh, they're at number 15. Okay, so not as good as I thought, or maybe they dropped since the last time I checked, because I thought they were in the top 10. Anyways, uh, yeah, number 15 for the Netherlands, and then my country of Canada, which we always have to check, even though we rarely actually get there. Um, we're sitting at number 14, so slightly better than the Netherlands. But uh, there you go, guys. That is a quick overview of the top grossing landscape for Global at the moment. Um, right now, our best shot at getting top grossing stones, obviously Hong Kong is already there, so like I said, top grossing stones are basically guaranteed, but the question is how many stones, right? And it does look like uh, Luxembourg has a good chance, France definitely has a good chance, and the US maybe, but kind of unlikely at this point. Now, the reason I say that we're probably going to get more than just seven stones for the one region is because of two factors. Number one, there's the JP factor, right? If JP manages to get top grossing in their iOS store, then they're going to get 30 stones for that. And because it's a joint celebration, that means 
we're also going to be getting 30 stones regardless of uh, how many regions we get. So even if it's only Hong Kong that hits top grossing uh, on global, because JP is getting 30 stones for their top grossing reward, we're most likely going to be getting 30 as well. Now this is not guaranteed, they could always change this for this celebration, but in the past this is how it's usually worked. And the other factor is that even though historically they've used all categories as the benchmark for top grossing uh, rewards, there have been times where they used all games instead as opposed to all categories, right? So if we look at just games, there are actually quite a few regions that are already at number one. So France, for example, if you just filter by games, is at number one. And then if you go to Luxembourg and you go to games, once again, they're also at number one. And Hong Kong is definitely there. Uh, what else? Belgium, I think, is close. Let me see. Um, probably number two or three. Number two, behind Gantt Impact. And then uh, we have Germany, which I think is at number one for games currently. Yes, they are. And uh, there's one other region. It's either Spain or Italy. Let me see Italy here. No, Italy's number two right now for games, so Spain must be number one. There we go. Okay, so yeah, at least five regions are currently at number one top grossing for games. And if they happen to, you know, use games as the benchmark as opposed to all categories, then that's going to be, you know, a solid like 35 stones for five regions, seven times five, right? So um, it really depends on how they want to calculate it. It really depends on if JP hits top grossing as well. But the point I'm trying to make in this video right now is that we are going to be getting top grossing stones. That is pretty much guaranteed. There's like a 90% chance that happens. It's just a question of whether we get just 7 for Hong Kong alone, or if JP hits top grossing, then we'll probably get uh, 30. Or if they calculate by games, then it could be up to 35 stones at this point. Possibly even more with other regions hitting number 1 top grossing for just the games section, right? So um, I can't give you guys an exact answer for how many stones we can expect. It's gonna be somewhere between seven to, I guess, 35. We basically just have to wait for the uh, in-game news release in a couple days, probably on Sunday night slash Monday to uh, know for sure. But the positive news is that once again, top grossing stones are coming. So uh, definitely look forward to those. And uh, that is your top grossing update for the same day Majin Vegeta banner. Hopefully you guys are having some great luck in your summons. I will be putting out some more summoning videos uh, throughout the week. Um, definitely go check out my summoning stream from yesterday where we had some pretty solid luck, I would say. It, it, it was pretty good. It was pretty good. And lastly, don't forget to claim your free Neko Maid Waifu Shaker for purchasing a tub of supplements on the gamer subs website link in my description use my code tiger for 10 percent off your entire purchase and uh, that's gonna do it for today's video guys thank you so much for watching as always if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video sub to the channel if you're new hit that notification bell so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.